Hey everyone, so um, I have had a few requests for me to go through contouring so I thought that I would do a bit of a general like skincare and um, foundation and thing um, <clears throat> application so that is what I'm going to do so first of all um, I have put on some moisturiser already to be honest and a bit crap for um, wearing moisturiser I usually forget but for my birthday I got bought some really nice stuff so I've been trying to use it so um, I got this uh, Bobbi Brown eye cream it's lovely and also this Bobbi Brown moisturiser again really nice and um, that's all quite expensive um as i said it was a birthday present i probably wouldn't spend that much myself it was about 60 quid um this one is actually really nice my brother got me it and it's a bit cheaper um it smells so good and it's about 30 quid so i would recommend this one it's called origins ginseng so I've already put that on. Um, my next step would be um, for concealer. So for under the eyes, I got this recently and I really love it. It's um, Brianna's brand, uh, Fenty Beauty, and it's really, really nice. Um, I plan to try their uh, foundation, but I'm going to wait until my current foundation runs out. So, you know, just a few dots around here. Like so, rub it in. Um, always use this finger, not your index, because it um is too rough on the skin to use your index one. I'm doing it a bit quicker than usual, because obviously it's really boring to just watch me put on foundation. Okay. And with this concealer, I find that it's really nice and light, so it's nice to use under your eyes because anything thicker, um, well, you know, cake and, and looks horrendo. It makes you look like you have wrinkles, even when you don't. Or if you do, it makes them, of course. So for, um, and so quite a lot of the time, if I'm, like, just during the day, I'll just put on a bit of concealer like that and, like, nothing else because... Um, it just makes me feel like I look okay, as opposed to looking like I'm about to die. So that would be my, I have no makeup on look. Then for spots, I use MAC. They have a really good um, like pot concealer, so it's quite a bit thicker. And uh, it just gives really good coverage. So for me, I have quite a lot of, um, like... Some of these are like scars and some are just spots that have kind of went. I have a couple there as well. So I just rub it on. Again, do all this before your foundation, but sometimes I top it up after. So that's all the concealer. Then foundation wise, I use Estee Lauder. Um, double wear it's really really nice um i think um it gives like a nice coverage it doesn't look too thick and yeah i just think it's lovely so uh, the color that i use is sand so it probably is a little bit darker than my natural color but i just i like to look a little bit darker than what i naturally am so that's what i go for i just use fingers um i used to use a brush but to be honest, I just don't think it made much of a difference and you just had to then clean the brush all the time and it was quite annoying. So, just a bit everywhere. Just give it a good rub in. Again, I'm just doing it really quick because you just don't need to watch me put on foundation. I probably actually put on a bit too much here. <laughs> I don't usually put on this much. I usually do my makeup in the car. So I'm just gonna rub it like everywhere. Main things, make sure that Rub it in good up here. And 
and rub it into your neck a bit as well. So usually I would try and wait a couple of minutes before I put on um, my powder because whenever I put on powder straight after it, you know, until it's, it had it and dried, it um, can look a bit patchy, but I'm just going to do it straight away. So I use um, Estee Lauder again there. Let me see what it's called. It's double wear uh, powder. It's really nice. Um, I use it in shell beige. So it's probably, I'm nearly out, but it's probably, again, a little bit dark for me. But, you know, if you can see, the foundation looks fine. But most of the time I find in boots or wherever, they um, they try and make you have, like, a really light uh, colour. Whereas I always just say, no, I like it a little bit darker. Never use these. Okay. They're just there for if you can't fit a brush into your bag. So I always try and start where, um, like on the cheeks because uh, if it's clumps there, it kind of looks okay because you're going to put on blusher anyways. So that's just to get rid of like the too much and then just bring it down. I try and do not too much above your lip because otherwise it makes you look like you've got a tash, which we don't want. Make sure you bring it into your neck. It's just tough though because you can already see I've got a little bit of the foundation on my top. So it's a hard sort of judgment call. But I do try and just do a little bit underneath. A little bit on your ears. So you don't look crazy. Okay. So um, we said we're going to talk about some contouring. I'm not that into contouring. Um, like I would never want a Kim Kardashian look or whatever. So I just do a little tiny bit. Um, so if you want more contouring tips, you may have to go to some another MUA. <laughs> so I use a nice light brush for contouring because, again, you just don't want it to be heavy. OK, so I actually use the same one as I do for my blusher, which probably isn't good. But um, I'll try and get rid of some of that blusher. My current one that I'm using is um, this from Charlotte Tilbury. It is so good. I really, really love it. Um, so I use it in Film Star Bronze and Glow, which is the darker one. It looks uh, like super dark, but it doesn't come out like that. This is the bronzer and this is the highlighter. And the highlighter is actually really nice because it's kind of like a blush as well. Um, so to contour, basically, the um, you know the ethos behind it is that wherever you wherever's good, you want to highlight. Wherever whatever you want to hide, you want to uh, darken. So for me, I think you know that my forehead's quite large, so I try and just uh, just really along the hairline put it darker. Again, I think my chin is quite big, especially when I smile. Um. So I put it there and then just to highlight, like I'm, I, my jaw's okay, but just to highlight your jaw, just put some there as well. And then I also just contour sort of where I put my blusher there and there, although um, my cheekbones are quite prominent, so I probably don't really need to do that. Then the only other thing, if I have time, I don't usually bother, but like my nose is quite long, it is slim, so I don't need to contour here. If you have a larger nose, you would want to contour here, highlight here. Um, the only thing I ever really do on my nose is to try and make it look a little bit shorter would be to put some brown here. So again, I don't like it, so I want to darken it. Okay, so I'm just going to show you it. So I just start doing a little bit. Again, it feels a little bit weird just only bronzing parts of your face. But I do think, you know, it's not that noticeable, but I definitely do think it works, to be honest. And then again, my chin. And then bring that into the jaw a little bit. You don't want to do your jaw too much unless, you know, your jaw is a problem area. And then I just bring it down into my neck. And then a little bit on the cheeks.
And then I would just do a little bit on my nose. <laughs> Maybe a bit too much on the nose. I'm sure you can already see that, you know, it does just sort of make your face look a bit nicer, you know. And then um, with my highlighter, I only put it on my cheeks and I just do it. It's quite dark, so I just do a little bit here and here. Bring it up slightly higher than I would my blush. Okay, so that looks a little bit mental at the minute, but it's okay. So get rid of that. And then I'm going to take my blush. So blush wise, um, I'm using Coralista from Benefit. Uh, it's lovely. I love, um, I don't really like Benefit makeup that much, but I love Coralista. I love their blushers in general. And um, their other really nice one is uh, Dandelion. Um, so Coralista is nice if you do wear your makeup a little bit darker. But for you blondies out there and you redheads, which I know my major audience is, um, I would do Dandelion. Okay, so at the minute, the angle that you're seeing, it does look a bit extreme. And I probably wouldn't do this much for daytime, okay? Um, this would be more a nighttime makeup, the blush side. But you know what? It actually looks quite nice. Kind of liking it. Um, good thing about this, though, if there is any part that you think, oh, actually, I really don't like that, you can just put like if I thought that was actually definitely too much I would just put my powder over it again and sort of that just sort of blends it out a little bit so I think that's all of my contour and um thingy tips so I'm just going to finish off my makeup just with a basic um daytime makeup so I will just show you my tips for that let me see So at the minute I'm loving um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk um, just for daytime. So During the day I don't really bother with um, lip liner. I just find that it's a little bit too much. Not that it looks too much, but as in it's just too much effort, you know. So then I'm just going to do my eyebrows really quick as we did this the other day. And then I like to just wear, you know, during the day I wouldn't wear um, eyeshadow. I wouldn't do like liquid liner. So there's eyebrows done. And so during the day I use just an eyeliner like this so just a pencil eyeliner this one is it's so battered because i've had it for like a year that's how long it lasts it is a chanel really really good i really like it and um, i would really recommend it and i have i i don't know how long i've had this for it literally is ages so i don't like to use too much liner i think it's really nice to have big eyelashes with um not much liner um on for for a daytime look so i only do half the bottom so you just go like this just sort of to the middle you will always wipe it away like I just think that with eyeliner the the lesser the nicer so again just like that and just give it a bit of a wipe and don't go inside your lash line okay and then for the upper eyelid for daytime, I only do it under, so in the lash line. 
So I just do it here and I do it the whole way across for that. I usually use a Chanel mascara, but um, I've run out and I was really broke and Chanel mascara is quite expensive. So it's um, 30 something pounds, I think. Um, so I decided to, to go back to Benefit Bad Gal, which is what I used to use. And, you know, I quite like it. It's cheaper Um, it probably, it clumps a bit more than um, Chanel. And it has this sort of brush, which I don't really like, to be honest, the plaque plasticky brushes I prefer the proper brush so um you know I think whenever you're wearing minimal eyeliner it is nice to get the lashes really big so if I have time I just you just you know you were asking the other day about it um you just have to take your time and just make sure you don't clump it and the way to do that is to do it slow to be honest I wouldn't usually do it this slow for a daytime. You just have to try and pick up all of the lashes, especially these corner ones, because those are the ones that make your eyes look nicer. Okay, um, looked a little bit clumped there in the video, but it's, it's not really. And then just tiny bit on the bottom lash. Okay, so that would be my um, daytime makeup that I do usually in the car on the way to work. So um, that's it. Hope you like it. Please subscribe.